evening. Um, my name is Adeyin Kakeji, and my question is this. Um, from listening to you tonight, I heard that um, you've been in business for a number of years before you went into speaking. Yes, ma'am. I also want to be a speaker, so my, uh, my question is, what advice would you give to someone like me? Should I also gain a bit of experience before I go into speaking, or should I, you know, go straight into the speaking route or something like that? When I got into the speaking business, it's a very good question. When I got into the speaking business, no one helped, all right? And I swore that if, any, if anybody ever wanted to become a speaker, I would do everything I could to help them because no one helped me, all right? Um, so to answer your question, should you instantly go to speaking, the first thing I ever tell any person that wants to be a prospective speaker is why do I want to listen to you? That's the first thing and foremost, because there are some people out there that have lived th terrible things and they can tell you the story. Um, uh, there was a young man that spoke at my son's school and he had he'd been in Afghanistan and he got his leg blown, up, blown off. And he, he was sharing the story of what he had lived and experienced and everything else. And, and he wasn't a professional speaker, but he had a heck of a story. He had a heck of a story about who he was. And my son saw him and called me up and said, this guy's got a great story, Dad. So he, and then the guy called me, and I've been working with him ever since. Why? Because he's got a heck of a story. So I want to listen to that story, because it could help everybody in this room. So my statement is, why do I want to listen to you? If you don't have the story right now, all right, then the other aspect of it is then go gain the experience. All right? one, I think one reason that that helps me in my business and as a speaker is because I have owned companies. So when I talk to companies, like when I was talking to the CPA firm, and I said, I've dealt with people that paid me on that net never payment program. You, we did the job, and they never paid. You know, it, when you've lived the experience and done the payrolls and dealt with all those things, you, you have something that you can share with those people. So, but the first and foremost thing that I can ever tell you is, why would these people in this room want to listen to you? And if you can answer that question and say, that's why they would want to listen, then speak. But I will tell you this, it's a, very, it's a very lonely profession, it's a very difficult profession, and in 2008, when corporate America laid off a gazillion people, about 50,000 professionals decided they were going to become speakers. And my agents, it drove them nuts because all these people were calling up saying, well, I've had all this experience, I can be a speaker. Well, you might have all this experience, but can you hold a crowd for 45 minutes? And then I will tell you this, and I didn't have really time to do it tonight, and I wish I could have, but probably the most important thing that you can do with anything in business, if you talk to their heart, you'll get to their head. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to become a speaker, you got my website. Call me anytime.